We in rural independence are very concerned when we see ads from the Go Vegan uh, world. On Dublin bus, on Galway City buses, we're a rural country after all, and misleading advertisements that are damaging to good farming practice and uh, farming husbandry over, over decades, and to our food chain supply, and to thousands of jobs. I want to know who allowed for these. We're told the cycle now is in the in Dublin bus. Is it the Minister for Transport? Is it the NTA? Uh, where's this craziness going to stop? Uh, who's paying for these ads? Is it some of the well-funded NGOs that are costing us nearly six billion a year? But this attack on rural Ireland and our way of life and our primary agricultural industry has to be stopped and can't be allowed to be uh, spread falsely and maliciously out there like it's happening. And I salute Deputy Nolan for raising it here, and indeed Councillor Geraldine from, from Galway for raising it. It must stop, and we must find out where it comes from. Fair play is fine play with us, but this kind of carry on, be, uh, demonising farmers and good animal husbandry is not acceptable. Thank you. And we need a debate on it. Deputy um, uh, thanks, Deputy. Uh, just, uh, I'll have to consult with the whip on this, but certainly we'd be happy to provide time to discuss uh, that particular issue. The response to Ukraine, uh, the response to the um, uh, migrant crisis which we're dealing with across Europe and Ireland is coordinated by a cabinet subcommittee um, led by the Department of the Taoiseach, and it does involve uh, lots of different agencies. Um, it's not just the Department of Integration that does it, uh, housing's involved too, and social protection and community development as well. Um, but happy to have a further debate about that um, if it can be agreed with the Business Committee. Thank you very much. Are the